So DigitalTrends.com posted an article today talking about seven things that the new 6 Ultra needs to go ahead and have. And I'll be honest with you, let me go through my list first and then we'll react to what they say. Number one is a humongous battery. I mean, this needs to be the biggest battery possible in a foldable cell phone. If you're going to charge probably up to $2,500 for the cell phone, it better have the biggest battery possible. That's number one. Number two, the outside display better be the size of a candy bar cell phone. There's no reason why at this point we aren't just following the trend of the OnePlus Open or the Google Pixel Fold version 1. There's no reason. I mean, everyone, I think collectively, have come together now and say they do not like the long, narrow outside display. They like a big outside display. Number three is going to be, see, I would say to a certain degree, because it's going to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, it would be cool if they added the Gen 4 processor, but that's not out yet. They could release it with that phone. Maybe release the Ultra version uh, like maybe a month or two later. Because we already know that the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 are be coming out two weeks early this year. Be coming out in July. So, would be cool if they went ahead and just gave us, you know... Maybe a couple months later, we get the 6 Ultra, and this comes out with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor. I would love that. I doubt they'll do it, but that would be awesome. And the final thing I will say is going to be, again, this is just a want slash it doesn't really matter at the end of the day here. I would say more gigabytes of RAM. It does have 16 gigabytes, but at the same time, why not just add one to it? If you're going to charge $2,500, give me the price tag and the reason why the price tag is the price tag, okay? Because other than a bigger outside display, which if you're going to comment and say, well, what about a bigger inside display? That's that's the same concept. Because a bigger outside display is going to make the inside display bigger. It, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. You have a bigger outside display, the, big, the inside display is also bigger because the same size um, height-wise. So, those are my things I would like to see. And again, there's not much you could really add when it comes to an Ultra that, in my opinion, would make it that much more worth it, especially to a point of $600 more. Let's see what they say on Digital Trends. A slot for the S Pen. Now, I don't know who started this slash is like, Really backing this idea of that it needs to have an S Pen silo. The whole point of having an S Pen slot, guys, you're taking away something else from this phone. The, these phones are so jam-packed with so much great stuff, so much crazy advancements in technology, that if you put an S Pen slot in there, you're taking away from something else. Um, if you want to have a great watch, watch one of these phones get torn down. Literally from... Perfect to nothing. And you will see there is not, there's pretty much zero space out in this phone that can be used for a pen silo that would actually house the S Pen. There isn't any room for it. And if you want to make room for it, you have to take something out. So then you start saying, okay, what, what will you sacrifice to have an S Pen slot? And I think a lot of people, myself included, would say nothing. I don't want to lose anything. I would want it to be an extended, an extra feature. Well, guess what? It's just how it works. You have to give up something to get something in that category. Um, a wider cover display. Yeah, I agree with that. That would be a nice little addition. And I would say when it's a wider, here's the thing. Wider, but do not make it so that, well, it's wider because it's, it's taller. No. Wider, same size, just more outside display. A less visible crease. Well, you're never going to get this. I'm sorry. You're never ever going to get a less visible crease. I know there are some companies that have their affordable phones are less visible. But for some reason, Samsung cannot get that down. OnePlus has... Oh, not OnePlus, but Oppo. It's the same company. It's a sister company. Oppo has been, you know, perfecting this creaseless cell phone for a while now. With all their iterations of their cell phone. But sadly, Samsung, no matter how hard they try, no matter how hard they try to perfect it, it they can't do it. And I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So that's sad, but it, it is what it is.
they're not going to give you a better inside display, like, product-wise, if you get the Ultra. More reasons to use the inside display. See, I, I don't... Because I feel like this really comes down to... The Ultra is not going to have any more abilities when it comes to using the inside display than the regular one is. They're both going to be the same. It's a software issue. If you're saying that there should be a better software for the Ultra than the regular, I disagree with that. I think that would be really a bad idea for Samsung to give a better software for the Ultra. So, I will say, again, some apps already do this, but these features, yeah... I, I don't agree with this. I, I think this is something that they can't do technically. And if they try to do it in a way of taking away some features from the regular version that the inside spray don't work, doesn't work correctly with, they would have themselves a lot of people upset, rightfully so, in all honesty, about the whole thing. Upgraded cameras. Yeah, that's something I kind of forgot about. Um, Love to see that. Thing is, though, again, kind of stress this point enough. Upgraded cameras and upgraded sensor are two different things. The sensor is what matters, not the camera. I know that people look at 200 megapixel camera and they think, oh, that's the coolest thing ever. I want that on every cell phone. You can, but just keep in mind that 200 megapixel camera is not really going to be used that much by you. You're not going to use that. Because megapixel, it just means millions of pixels in an image. That's all it means. Every single social media platform you use will downscale those pictures 100% down to the equivalent of a 13 megapixel camera. Unless you have a, you're going through raw files using Lightroom, and then you're printing them out on a canvas full, full size, like human size, you don't need 200 megapixels. Bigger battery. I agree with that. Faster charging speeds. And that's the last one they have here. Here's the thing I'll say, right? Because to a certain degree, 100%. I love the idea of how fast our phones charge. I have an iPhone 15 Pro I just picked up. And when I charge this phone, it charges quick as anything. But it also heats up really bad. Like to a point where you can't even touch the phone. And I know that's been an issue with iPhones and, you know, the battery, whatever. But to a certain degree, I will say I agree that faster charging speeds is good. But you have to be careful with it. Because especially if you're just, for the first time, using it in a new foldable cell phone that's just coming out, an ultra version, anything you do extra or crazy could potentially cause the phone to light on fire. And I don't think we need another Galaxy Note 7. I don't know about you, but Galaxy Note 7, I don't think Samsung is sitting there in the rearview mirror thing and, oh, let's do that thing again. Yeah, no. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.